If Doc Martens are intimidating, here's some pain-free ways to break into your Doc Martens. When you get a new pair of Doc Martens, usually the leather is very stiff and it's your job to loosen up the leather. The first thing that I recommend you doing is heating your leather, putting your leather in a warm area. I do not recommend you using like a dryer to directly heat your Doc Martens because sometimes depending on how close you put it, it can damage your Doc Martens. I recommend indirectly putting heat on your Doc Martens. For example, I'd recommend leaving it next to a heater for about five, maybe 10 minutes, or just leaving it in a heated room that's pretty warm, pretty hot for a little bit of time. Or I recommend you using a dryer if it's your last option, but from a pretty long distance. I don't recommend you directly putting that amount of heat directly to your Doc Martens because for example, some areas would get more heat than other areas. So the first thing that you wanna do is to loosen up the leather so that you can make it softer and it'll be easier to mold into your feet while you put it on. The second thing is to continue the process of making your Doc Martens softer. In this process, what you're gonna do, you're gonna massage the key areas of your Doc Martens. For example, most of the time with Doc Martens around the toe area and around the heel area, those are like key points where a lot of people complain that they get bruises and blisters. So what you wanna do is to massage those areas. Whenever you get a pair of Doc Martens, they should not look brand new after a couple wears. So you really wanna soften the leather and squeeze and massage those areas so that the leather can be a little loose and is not as tough or as stiff as once you first got them. The next thing is to protect your feet. One of the easiest way to protect your feet is to wear thick socks. If you don't have thick socks, you can just double your socks. This makes a protective layer for your feet. So once you wear it for the first time, it doesn't hurt as bad or you won't get any blisters. Another thing that you can do is if you have sensitive feet or you just want to make sure that you get zero blisters, you can use a bandage or even what, a plaster as they call it in other countries. You can use that around like sensitive areas, like around the Achilles or your heel area or around your toe area. If you know those parts are very sensitive to you, you wanna protect them. Also, if it's summertime or socks is not your thing, another thing that you can do is Doc Martens do make like this protective bands or like bandage that you can put on the boots. These can help you so much when it comes to breaking into your Doc Martens because those sensitive spots will hurt after a while. This is a big thing that some people skip over. When it comes to wearing your Doc Martens for the first couple of time, please make it progressive. You don't wanna wear your Doc Martens to a party or wear it too long the first try because you want your feet to get used to it. It's leather, I know you're excited to have a pair of Doc Martens, but the first couple of times, please wear it for like an hour max or even 30 minutes, walk around the house so that your feet can get used to Doc Martens. And then eventually you'll be able to wear them everywhere. My last tip is after you've worn your Doc Martens, the best thing that you can do is stuff your Doc Martens with newspaper or anything to make sure that it keeps the shape and it can also expand overnight. If you don't wanna use newspapers, another thing that you can use, you can buy shoe trees or shoe horns as they call it. Any of those, you can stuff it in there and it should expand the shoes just a little bit. And then also, if you're having pains like at the bridge of your foot, like the top of your foot, you can turn the shoe tree vertically and that can extend the top of your boots. I actually had a problem with that with my um, Chelsea boots and that helped a lot. I just stuffed it in there and within a couple tries, the leather was a bit softer. Everything was easier to put on. But yeah, if you're not wearing your boots, stuff them. It makes them larger a little bit or just keeps the shape of your foot. And eventually the leather becomes softer and molds right into your feet. A bonus tip and um, the easiest way to break into your Doc Martens is to get the proper leather. For example, the smooth leather is one of the hardest leathers to break into. So if you want a pair of boots, look for a soft leather variety. For example, you have the Piso leather, the Virginia leather, the Napper leather, even the vegan leather. It's not leather, it's synthetic, but those are way easier to break into compared to like the soft leather, which especially if you get like Jaden's or any platform, you have the leather to deal with and the platform. So things like that can play into how long it takes 
for you to break into your Doc Martens. And yes, I know breaking into your Doc Martens can be a crazy process to some individuals, but I hope these tips help you out so that you can break into your Doc Martens just a little bit easier and you don't have to fight with your Doc Martens or you don't have to hate your Doc Martens. You can buy them and enjoy them just like the rest of us. Also, if you wanna see more ways to break into your Doc Martens, here's a video right here. It just goes more into different ways that I did not talk about into breaking your Doc Martens. Thanks for watching.